Hello everybody and welcome back to your favourite FIFA series on YouTube, it's Be A Goalkeeper episode 27. Before we start I just want to say a big thank you to you all, the support on the channel has been absolutely mental recently and the last video managed to hit over 10 likes so thank you for that one. If this one can hit 10 likes as well I'd be greatly appreciated and don't forget to subscribe as well we're closing on 150. Also people have been asking what camera settings I play on so I thought I'd show every set I use right here. But now let's move on to the good stuff. The first match of the episode is against Ipswich who I believe are in the bottom half of the table so we definitely should win this one especially with Burnley so close behind us we need every win we can get we cannot afford to drop any points we do manage to come out the blocks pretty quickly we have a few opportunities within the first 15 minutes to keep him makes a save but the defender does not clear it falls to Jans and he belts it at the near post finally another goalkeeper knows what it feels like to get beaten at your near post when you should be saving it defenders very poor they lose it very easily but Jans makes a space and just cracks it up into the roof of the net maybe I'm being a bit harsh on the keeper it is straight into the top corner but either way, I think he's going to be disappointed with that one. Into the 34th minute, we get a half chance on the volley. Keeper saves it. I don't know how he volleyed it from that angle. But now Ipswich know how much a danger threat Jansen is and hack him down on the edge of the box. That is right, we have finally scored a free kick in this series. It has only taken 27 episodes, but up steps Christian Eriksen with an absolute blinder of a free kick. And to add insult to injury, the goalkeeper smashes into the post. Now we are in added time of the first half and look at that sliding pass, the keeper makes a great save from the first time shot there. You need to keep your eye out on this man right here, we sir. He has only scored one goal in 25 games at this point. Just keep an eye on him for the rest of the episode. But half time we are 2-0 up against Ipswich. We had a pretty good first half, had some pretty decent goals, especially that free kick. What a blinder that was, but starting off into the second half and look who I'm talking about we say gets a second goal of the season with a great run well weighted through ball there but he's leaves the defenders in his dust there keeper had no chance one on one he absolutely rifles that into the top corner great finish great composure as well the keeper stood no chance with the power behind that effort and we are three nil this game is pretty much over now but Wiesa is not happy with just one goal this episode. He gets another one in the 67th minute. All the space and time in the world to slot that past the goalkeeper. Great pass from Presley. Once again, just look at Wiesa's run. He leaves the midfielder and the defenders leave the space. And he just slots it past the keeper. Keeper had no chance on that angle. I do not know what Wiesa had for breakfast this morning. But he needs to have it every time we have a match. He is on fire at the moment. And it takes 74 minutes of this game for Ipswich to have their first shot on target. It's a pretty decent effort for how far out that shot was and I definitely had to have full concentration 74 minutes with nothing to do is a long time but I do make the save now we're into the last 10 minutes of this game and the Weasel watches hat trick but he hits the post what a strike that was unbelievable techers from him there Ipswich still have not given up on this one and he misses an open goal what a cross that was now into the 91st minute added time the game is still going on Presley with a strike he gets his first goal of the game and what a strike that was First time strike belts it straight into the back of the net. The defender did very poorly there. He did win the ball, but he got tackled on the edge of the box. He can't have that. It's Weezer and Presley, but Presley falls over, gets straight back up, and the composure just to belt it past the keeper. This is 5 0 now. Ipswich are absolutely falling apart here. Stop! He's already dead! Lucky enough for Ipswich, that is where the game ends. 5-0, what a performance from us. Unbelievable stuff. We have not scored that many goals since I've been at the club. But there's some bad news. Jansen is out for three months. He broke his toe during that game. So the top goal scorer is out for the rest of the season. Our next opponents are Cardiff City. We have gone to Wales and we start this game flying. Four minutes in and that's that boy Weasel. A strike. Another great pass. And he just... 
belt that one as well. Keeper stood no chance with that one, but look at the space he has. He passed it off. He does get a little bit lucky. This pass gets deflected into his path. Keeper is reaching for the stars because he's not getting that ball. Just an unbelievable finish. First time, gets that little bit of curl and the ball just snuggles into the back of the net. 10 minutes later and Wiesa gets another opportunity, just can't quite get the curl on that one. We have put Cardiff City under so much pressure at the beginning of this game. Look at the pass and look at the through ball first times again. Keeper gets a fingertip to it but pushes it onto the post, into the back of the net. That is our second already. We are on top form in the last two games. It's a great passing move. The through ball is weighted perfectly. The first time shot, Keeper should be saving it though. He gets his hand to it. He just doesn't have the strength into his hands. Very disappointing. Tips it onto the post. Back of the net. 2-0. Cardiff City do get the first opportunity. 24th minute on the volley. Great strike. First time volley. But he hits it straight at me. Anywhere else at the goal. He probably would have gone in. Just look at the technique behind it. Easy enough save for me. But it's a bright spark for Cardiff. Coming on to the end of the half now, we do get another opportunity. It's that man Wiesa again. That's four goals in two games. He is just on something else at the moment. I didn't realise we had Penn and Teller on the team. This passing is absolutely magical and the finish to go with it. We are still into the first half here and we just haven't given up with the attempts. The great block there, but we recycled the ball very well. But he hits the ball at the goalkeeper. Wiesa so close to a hat-trick again. 3-0 at half time, second half can't go much worse for Cardiff. And you can see it, not a lot happened. We're in the 82nd minute, but we give the ball away very poorly and he strikes it into the top corner. I've lost my clean sheet. I didn't even attempt to go for it. Very poor play from the defender. What is he doing with the chipped pass and the space just opens up? He absolutely rifles it to the top corner. Precision. I had no chance. Didn't even want to get my kit dirty for that one. Unbelievable. Great finish. Very poor from the defender. It's happened too often recently. But we do manage to win 3-1. And we're moving on to the next game against Preston away from home. And the referee in this game definitely did not want us winning the league. He gives some stupid penalties away. And the first one is there. Janssen gets the ball hit against him. And you can see from this angle, it doesn't even touch him. The ball does move, but maybe it was just a big gust of wind. The penalty taker scores as well to add insult to injury. Preston 1-0 up early on in the game. It's a very poor penalty to be fair to him. If I'd went the right way, it was an easy save, but I didn't. And he did score, but we can't give up. We need to fight back. But 12 minutes into the game, and guess what? The referee gives another one. This one's even worse than the first one. This time, Ben Me. Just look at it. What? Ooh, this game's trash. This game's trash. How can you give that as a penalty? His hands up into his chest. The referee must be a Burnley supporter. The same man takes the penalty, but this time he goes the same way, but he hits it over i dived the same way thinking he was going to switch his mind up but he just hits it straight over how has he got that much height on the ball but we do get some luck with him missing the penalty one nil down we can still bring this game back now we get a little bit more luck loose pass from the defender we sit on his right foot bends it into the corner what a strike from the edge of the box Keeper, very slow reacting there. The ball did not have a lot of power behind it. Weezer is just unstoppable at the moment. He is on the form of his life. What a strike. Didn't quite bend it into the top corner. Keeper was very sus there. Should be saving. It doesn't really raise his hand up. It just lets the ball go over the top of him. Decent enough finish, but the keeper is a letdown. Maybe he felt sorry for us for the penalty calls. Into the 37th minute, we are passing the ball on the edge of the box. Look at the space open up. The silver on the ball, and he cracks it on the edge of the box. What a strike. Unbelievable. We're just getting better and better from outside the box. This is much better than Weeks' goal. Keeper had no chance with this one. The space just opens up nicely for him. He thinks, stuff it. We're cracking it. Top corner, top bins. Pick that one out because you won't get a better strike in a long while. Just admire it. It lasers to that top corner. Keep a full stretch. Don't even bother, mate. Not even worth getting your kit dirty for. The half isn't over yet. But look at that save with my feet there. Cracking save on the half. But they sadly recycle the ball. And look at it. It's a pin perfect pass. And he cracks it past me. How disappointing. I make a worldy of a save and my defenders don't get back into formation let him just pass the ball back across it's an easy enough finish from he would not miss from there i just can't believe i make such a good save and they still manage to score from it my defenders let me down 
So we go into the half 2-2. Two, two. We had a lot that half that just didn't go our way, but hopefully the second half could be much better. The first opportunity in the second half goes to us. De Silva with a strike on his left foot this time. The keeper makes a blinding save to match the strike. It's a decent enough effort. Quite far out. Keeper has enough time to react. The striker jumps over it to put him off a little bit. But it's a strong hand. And we get subbed off for some reason. 75th minute. And the game ends 2-2. We didn't have a lot of possession. Only 6 shots and 3 chances. Preston had the majority of everything. Now on to the final game of the episode against Bristol City. City. We have a little look at my Tifu there, looking good. And this was one of those games where not a lot happened. It's very tight. Chances were few and far between, but we do get a lucky one here. The defender kicks it straight to Presley, who hits on the volley straight at the goalkeeper, sadly. But the keeper makes a good, strong save with his foot, then slaps it down to the floor. So he pushes it on his foot, then hits it with his glove out for a corner. Lucky not to put it into his own net. Now in the 45th minute already, Weasel with a great opportunity, he hits it straight at the goalkeeper, I don't know how he hasn't scored. And we go into half time, nil nil, I told you it is a tight one, we do finally get an opportunity in the 60th minute with a cross and it hits a hand and we get a penalty, finally a referee on our side. It is a harsh one but we take these ones and Weasel steps up. And he hits it to the left of the goalkeeper. Great little penalty. It's the little bit of luck we needed in such a tight game. It's a confident penalty from Weezer. No doubt in his mind or mine, keeper stands down the middle. It always looks bad when a keeper stands down the middle and doesn't move. One of Bristol's only opportunities comes in a 74th minute. It's easy enough to save. But now we get an opportunity as well. But how has the keeper saved that one? Two men go down in synchronisation there. Maybe they thought they were swimming. In the last few minutes, Bristol decided to turn up the heat, having a lot of opportunities. They are recycling the ball very well. Great little short pass to make the space. Hits it from the edge of the box, but it's straight down my gullet, and it's an easy enough save, and we do win 1-0. We had 10 shots, expected 4.7 goals. Madness, but we did not make our opportunities count. But that is going to be it for the end of the episode. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, look after yourself, stay safe, and I'll speak to you next time. Goodbye.